Hey, thanks for joining me. Today we're going on a little adventure. I am headed up to Los Angeles from Orange County on the Metrolink. It's a short trip, about an hour, to Union Station where I'm meeting up with some friends. We're going to have an excursion through Chinatown. So we're going to have an interesting, historical, fun and food-filled adventure in Los Angeles going to Chinatown. And I'm going to take you with me. So let's hop on the Metrolink and take a little relaxing trip up to Los Angeles. We're going by the Tustin Hangars, two of the largest wooden structures ever built. I'll put more information down below if you're interested. Our next station stop is Anaheim. Home of the Anaheim Angels. There's the Honda Center, and this is the huge station for the transportation. And there's a better look at the Angel Stadium, located right across the street from the Metro Station. Well, it's been about an hour and we're coming up into Los Angeles. You can see it over there in the distance. And we are coming upon the actual train station here right around the corner. And that big tall building is the headquarters for the Metro. The largest passenger railroad station in the Western US. It's still considered the last of the great train stations. You'll see touches of Art Deco throughout this train station, and they have restored these wood and leather chairs. If you're waiting for a train, you can do it in style. In 2017, part of the restoration required that the ceiling tiles be cleaned. They hadn't been cleaned in 80 years. Everyone thought it was solid wood. All of a sudden, as they got through the layers of tobacco tar and dust, they realized there were beautiful tiles underneath, different colors peeking through, and they were excited, to say the least. Union Station is a popular place for weddings to take place. There are also numerous movies you may have seen which have featured Union Station. There's another example of the ceiling tiles, different style, slightly different colors. In this room, you can also see the original ticket booths that have been restored. This train station is truly beautiful. There is art throughout the train station, and on each end of the train station, you are treated to spectacular construction of not only the walls and ceilings, but this fabulous glass dome. On the right, you're able to see one of the many murals that are scattered throughout the train station. This fountain is actually made up of artifacts from LA's original Chinatown, which was demolished to make room for Union Station. The water spout represents the LA River. I'm meeting my friend Renee and the rest of the ladies here, really the perfect place to meet since we'll be spending the rest of the day in the new Chinatown. Chinatown is approximately a mile away, but we are going to hop on another train and just take it one stop where we will get off at the Chinatown train station. The art project right here that we're looking at is called the Wheels of oh. Change. Artwork at the Chinatown station is based on the ancient Chinese book of I Ching, translated in English as the Book of Changes, written more than 3,000 years ago. The I Ching describes 64 states of human situations. So you can actually read down here. Yeah. And then you may see some Chinese red lanterns as we walk around, and that's usually representing wealth, fame, and prosperity. If this is your first time in Chinatown, don't worry, there are signs guiding you and letting you know exactly which direction you should be going in. 
Although we were passing by numerous shops, we had a destination in mind and didn't want to be late. Our first stop was to be the Tian Hao Temple. The Tin Hao Temple is definitely a tourist attraction, but it is also actively used for worship. And because of that, they do not allow any photography or filming once you step inside the temple. They offer an opportunity to light incense, and then they will take you around and explain everything to you. And there really is more than I can explain to you right now, but I will leave a link below so that you can learn more and find out about visiting this temple yourself. Next on our tour, lunch. So we made our way down to the center of Chinatown where there are numerous shopping, restaurants, and other beautiful buildings to take in. The architecture here is so interesting and elaborate. It really is not like anything you would see on a typical day anywhere else. Renee, my friend and tour guide for the day, chose this restaurant because it would be easy for us to choose what to eat. There were only six things on the menu. We had more to see and more to do, so we had to get moving, especially if we wanted to do a little shopping. And let's not forget, we all had different trains to catch in the afternoon. We didn't want to miss our ride home. This statue of Bruce Lee reflects his history with Chinatown, where in the 1960s he operated a martial arts studio. The Phoenix Bakery, widely known for their delicious strawberry cakes. I think no trip to Chinatown is complete without bringing home something from the bakery. Almond cookies, or yeah, almond cookies. Yeah. On your visit to Chinatown, make sure you bring your reading glasses and good walking shoes. This has been an interesting tour of Chinatown, and thanks to my friend Renee, who does her research, we know a little bit more about the history of Chinatown. If you've enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. Perhaps share it with someone who is also curious about Chinatown in Los Angeles. It's fun to get out and go someplace where you've never been before. Do a little research before you go and you'll really enjoy it. I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.